Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second webinar dedicated to Fast Start Proof, our solution for smart and easy pipe stress analysis. We are ready to start the session, and today we will talk about Fast Start Proof capabilities for oil and gas gathering upstream and midstream pipelines. You will learn how Fast Start Prof can increase your productivity, save time, and improve accuracy during pipeline model creation, its analysis, and reports generation. We will also cover new features of Fast Start Prof that we will be that will be available in the new version. Now I would like to invite Dr. Alex Matveev, the head of Pipe Stress Analysis Department, to start the presentation. Alex. Uh, hello. Uh, so let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Alex Matveev and uh, I am the head of development team of PASTAR Prof Pipe Stress Analysis Software uh, since 2005. Uh, also, I perform trainings uh, and technical support for Star Prof software. This is the quick uh, agenda of this webinar. It consists of three parts. The first part is uh, introduction. What, what is Pass Star Prof software? The second part is the uh, soil pipeline interaction model for uh, buried, uh, buried and uh, un underground pipeline analysis. Uh, I will cover some topics about uh, seismic wave propagation analysis. Uh, subsidence, frost heaven, landslide, and so on. And the third part is uh, Star Pro features and usability. Uh, Star Prof is the software that is uh, widely used uh, in process industry, in power industry, uh, uh, for gas and oil pipeline analysis, and for uh, some types of networks like district heating, natural gas, and other. Uh, this software is developed since uh, 1965, so it, uh, the development history is more than 55 years. Uh, we have about 2,000 active users. Uh, the user interface is on English, Chinese, and Russian languages. We have 32 codes, and we have 18 codes uh, for winds, seismic, snow, and ice uh, loads. So Star Prof can gener automatically generate th these types of loads and apply it to the piping system. This is the list of uh, the, most, the most known, the most famous uh, users, international users of past Star Prof software. Uh, of course, uh, this is not all users of our software, bus, but uh, the most popular. And uh, Star Prof uh, is very user-friendly software. It can save you time and money for pipe stress analysis. Uh, the benefits is the quick response from experienced piping engineers from different countries the direct support from developers via email. Uh, the software is very easy to learn, uh, fast and simple. Uh, and uh, it has very intuitive, modern, object-oriented user interface. Uh, so after you install the software, you need uh, just several maybe hours to learn how to use it. And after that, you can start working especially if you already use some other pipe stress analysis software and already know the theory. Uh, the past star prof is the part of uh, uh, PES uh, suite uh, uh, that consists of pipe stress analysis software, past star prof. Uh, the PES hydro system is pipe and hydraulic and thermal analysis software that can analyze uh, two-phase flow, uh, for example, and uh, water hammer loads uh, and some other features. And it is integrated with StartProf. Uh, also, we have Nuzzle FEM software that allows you to analyze nozzle to shell junction uh, connections between uh, the piping and uh, equipment 
using finite element method. And also it can calculate the stress intensification and K factors for non-standard T's, trunions, and other pipe and fittings. And pass equip allows you to model uh, and perform stress analysis of the vessels, columns, heat exchangers, tanks, and other equipment. Uh, Best Star Pro software is very easy to use, so you will save your time uh, because you will achieve the result uh, much easier and much faster. Here you can see the diagram. It's time to create the model, time to analyze and optimize the model. Uh, I will show you the software and you will see how to do this. Uh, here is the, here are the codes uh, that is used for pipeline analysis. It is uh, ISME uh, B41.4 code, uh, B41.8, B41.12, uh, Canadian code, uh, British code, uh, two Chinese codes, and several Russian codes for pipelines. Uh, Starprof has all needed nonlinear abilities uh, to analyze your piping system, like gaps, friction, one way restraints, rotating rods, and other. Also, Starprof can uh, calculate the follow up load case uh, for cold, cold state of the pipe after it uh, cooling down from operation state, and it takes into account the friction forces and the effect when friction forces change their direction during cooling down from operation state. They have uh, wind, snow, ice, and seismic load generator that can generate the loads according to 18 national codes. Uh, we have integration with pass header system software. For example, you can uh, analyze the water hammer loads on the piping system and pass it back to the star prof. And now let's talk about the soil model uh, for buried uh, underground piping analysis and pass star prof software. Uh, the continuous uh, soil resistance along the pipeline is replaced by discrete springs uh, that is placed with, with uh, certain span between them. Uh, this is done automatically by the software and we have two type of soil models. The first model is dry soil model. The, sen the second model is the wet soil model for submerged by uh, buried uh, pipelines. Uh, now let's talk about uh, dry soil model. So we have three type of zones. We divide our uh, pi pipeline system into three zones. First zone is a lateral bearing zone. Uh, the second type of zone is axle sliding zone. And third is restraint zone. The main goal is to save the analysis time and uh, consume less resources resources of uh, the machine. So let's talk about the zones. First zone is lateral bearing zone. This is the zone where bending moments are great and uh, bending deformation so of the pipeline is uh, great. The length of this zone is calculated using this equation and this is done automatically by uh, past star prof software so uh, you don't need to do anything manually everything is done automatically the second type of zone is axle sliding zone this is the zone where the pipe has displacement along its line uh, and friction forces uh, acting on the pipe in this zone uh, the length of the zone can be calculated using this equation. Uh, if you take into account the uh, bilinear soil, soil spring uh, behavior, we need to add the second component to this equation. And this is the final equation that uh, StarProf use to calculate the length of the uh, 
slide and zone. Also, the zone is called the virtual anchor zone because uh, at this point where the slide and zone is connected to the restraint zone, we have uh, something like the anchor. It's, you call it a virtual anchor because the pipe doesn't move at this point along his axis. Uh, after that, in the restraint zone, there is no displacement in the pipeline and no friction forces because the pipe doesn't move in anywhere. Uh, so this is virtual anchor length. You don't have to calculate this length because star prof will calculate it automatically and it will place the springs automatically. The main idea that the springs are condensed near the lateral bearing zone, it less condensed in a sliding zone and we use, we place uh, not much springs in restraint zone. The distance between springs is 100 diameters. It's very long, very long span of the pipeline. Uh, so this is how restraint zone works. The pipe is uh, restrained between two anchors. This is the typical uh, buried uh, pipeline system uh, that can contain some above ground part and some underground part. Uh, Star prof automatic, automatically decide where is the lateral bearing zone. For example, this one auto automatically calculate the sliding zone, for example, this and restraint zone. So you will see all type of zones here. Uh, Star prof doesn't show wh where each zone is. Uh, there is the border between that zones, but uh, you can see the soil springs. Uh, uh, that is placed along the pipeline. This is the same model. You can see that this zone is fully restrained. Let me show you this model in StarProf. Here is StarProf software. Let's open the example. This example. Okay, this is buried pipeline model. You can see uh, th this this pipe is underground, and this this part of pipeline is above ground. You can switch on the soil level to, to see wh which uh, pipe is uh, underground and which is above ground, and you can see the deformed shape of this pipeline. This is the formations of the pipeline. And of, of course, you can check the stresses in this pipeline system. Uh, the soil model is automatically generated. You don't need to do something manually. For example, I can add the node here. So let me add node here. For example, you can add the expansion expansion loop here, like this, and we can copy the band, use, or you can use Control C, Control V, and paste it here. It can be uh, we have several types of bands here. I will explain a little bit later. Now uh, our model is ready, so I can see what what happening if I am if I will add the expansion loop here. I just run analysis, and immediately see results. As you can see, StarProf placed the soil springs uh, on this expansion loop, and we can see the deformed shape of this pipeline. Okay, and also we can see the stress diagram, stress color diagram.
Okay. Uh, also, we have some options to uh, change the number of springs that Starprof plays to model the soil. So we can have a great, uh, uh, the greater accuracy of uh, an analysis. Uh, Another thing that we have is the long radius bands, the special band object that can be used in uh, uh, pipelines. Uh, we have two type of long radius bands. The first time, first type is a long radius band, and the second type is prestressed uh, long radius band. Uh, the diameter of such bands can be, uh, for example. 100 diameters uh, and greater. Uh, what is prestressed long radius band? For example, if you will use ordinary band and you will put it on the ground surface, it will remain curved, curved, uh, curved pipe. But if you will cut the prestressed long radius band and put it on the ground, it will try to uh, straighten. Uh, to take the straight form. Uh, in, real, in real life, uh, it is happening during the line of the pipeline over the terrain. So at, at this point and at this point, we will have the prestressed long radius bands. Uh, they have initial moments inside the bands that uh, produce additional stresses in the pipeline. So star prof will automatically take it into account. Uh, another point is that uh, during modeling the dry soil, uh, uh, the dry soil pipeline, star prof remove the weight of the pipeline, remove the weight of the insulation and remove the weight of the fluid inside the pipeline. Why? Because uh, if we will not remove the weight for 100 diameter span uh, soil springs when the distance is 100 uh, diameters, uh, we will receive a great uh, deflections of the pipeline. So we remove all the weight, but sometimes uh, some companies use the very heavy valve uh, buried valve and they need to calculate the support loads. They install the supports, uh, the buried supports on the ground. So to do this, we add the ability to add the valves uh, with the weight and in Starprof you will see the deflections of such elements. And of course you can add the supports for example, it can be piles on any other type of supports and Starprof will uh, consider it uh, during analysis without any problem. Uh, another point is the restrained and unrestrained sections. Uh, uh, the ASME codes B31.3, B31.4, B31H, and several other codes like Canadian, uh, British, and other, uh, divide the pipes into two types. It's restrained pipes and unrestrained pipes. And the code require to check the stresses using different equations. On this slide, you can see uh, the equations for B31.4 code for the unrestrained pipes and for restrained pipes. The only difference between them is that for unrestrained pipes, we need to consider the pressure, st the stress that is caused by pressure thrust force. And we can change the equation li like this, 0 0.5 multiplied by hoop stress. This is hoop stress. And for restrained zone, we have Poisson factor multiplied by hoop stress. This is 0 0.3 multiplied by hoop stress. 
Uh, another uh, uh, this stress is uh, caused by uh, thermal expansion. So uh, if we use manual calculation or we use software without uh, Bourdon effect, we need to use that equation. But if we use software that have ability to consider the Bourdon effect, then the pressure trust forces will be included inside the axle force. Uh, so if we will calculate the internal forces in our pipeline using Borden effect, it will be already included inside the uh, axle force. So we don't need to additionally add this, this component and this component. And in this equation, we don't need to add this component. So the equation became the same for restrained and for unrestrained zones. And actually, we, are, uh, we also have the partially restrained zone. This is the zone that is between uh, unrestrained and between restrained zone. In that zone, the axle, axle stress from the pressure trust force will, will be 0.3 to 0 0.5 hoop stress. So how to do this? How to analyze pipeline system without, uh, without division to restrained and unrestrained zones? So let's talk about the Bordon effect. What is it? Uh, Star Prof automatically apply the pressure trust forces at the each end of the pipe. So when you draw your piping model, Stoprov automatically uh, calculate the pressure and in, for each load case with pressure, it automatically add this forces. And the second part of the pressure uh, Bourdon effect is the shortening of the pipe under the internal pressure. When you add the internal pressure, the pipe tend to uh, shorten uh, to became shorter than uh, without pressure. This is the second part of this effect. So the uh, longitudinal uh, displacement will be like this. Star prof out automatically apply both of that effects, and this allows to consider the Bourdon effect for any piping system for restrained zone for unrestrained zone and uh, for partial restrained zone. Uh, the Bourdon effect is very important for uh, pipe stress analysis, especially for uh, high pressure piping systems and pipeline systems for plastic piping and for FRP, GRP and GRE piping. Uh, Star Prof always consider the Bourdon effect. You you can't uh, switch it off. Some, some of our users ask us how to switch off the Bordon effect. Uh, our opinion that you should not do that, that because many people forget to switch on the Bordon effect, especially for very important piping systems and get the incorrect results. So we think that software should always consider the Bordon effect. Uh, this will uh, help you to avoid the human mistakes when you just forget to switch on the option. Uh, what is, so how uh, unrestrained pipe is calculated? Here is the unrestrained pipe with the cap uh, on its end and the anchor on other end. Uh, this is the equation for axle force calculation and uh, the equation that provide us the code. This is this component is caused by axial trust force by pressure effect divided by uh, pipe cross section. We'll receive this component. So if we already consider the Bourdon effect, uh, we have axial force, this one already the Bourdon effect. We don't need this component, so we can use this equation. For restrained pipe, uh, if we 
consider the Bourdon effect and we consider the term thermal expansions, we don't need these, these two components in the code equation because it's already included into the axial force by the software. So we, we need to use the same equation. We don't need to divide pipes to restraint and unrestraint. Uh, the idea was taken from Russian codes uh, for pipeline and pipe stress analysis that has a very long history and used uh, more than 55 years already without any problems, without accidents. So uh, it was very, very strange for me that I firstly saw the requirements of ASME B31-4 and B31-H codes to divide the pipes to restraint and unrestraint because uh, I thought that uh, all codes should uh, already uh, has the requirements to analyze systems, uh, including the Bourdon effect. Uh, but it is not so. We create the special feature. I will talk you. I will tell you about it a little bit later. So if we have the partially restrained pipe, you can see the axial stress equation here. Uh, if if we calculate with Bourdon effect activated, then the equation will be, will be exactly the same as for restrained, unrestrained pipes and partial restrained pipes. All will have the same equation to check the stresses. You can read my articles if you need more information about that. You can see the links here. Uh, so in real pipeline, we will have a lot of restrained zones. For example, this is restrained zone, this restrained zone, this is restrained zone, and that zone is partial restraints. And unrestrained zones is only near the bands. The real unrestrained zone is near the bands. So how to do this manually? It's a very hard work to divide the pipe into several sections and specify which type of pipe we have here, which type of pipe we have here. It's a great work. To save your time, we offer the three options. The first option, it's uh, uh, manual selection. So you can manually uh, select which uh, equation Star Pro should use for this pipe, uh, restrained or unrestrained. The second option is auto detect function. Star prof calculate uh, this equation and if the value is greater than 97 and half percent, it will automatically consider that this pipe is restrained. If not, it will be considered as unrestrained. And star prof will use the exact equations from the ASME B314 and other codes uh, if you use the first two options. If you will choose the third option, uh, we call it start smart check. Uh, Star prof will not use the exact equations from the code. It will use simplified equations like this. And it will check the stresses uh, without using this is, this uh, unnecessary components in the code equations. It will use the universal criteria that is, it can be applied for restrained and unrestrained zones. But of course, this is not exactly that uh, the ASME code require. But you can, for example, analyze your pipeline system using start smart check. And if you see that everything is okay, uh, after that, you can switch back to, for example, auto detect function and then uh, generate the report. Uh, exactly what is exactly following the ASME code, if you need to follow the code exactly. This is the table with equations that is used for uh, pipe stress check according uh, to B414 code. Other tables for other codes you can uh, find in a, a user guide of StarProf software. Uh, here you can see that for sustained stress, uh, that sustained stresses are checked only for unrestrained pipes. This is unrestrained pipes and these pipes are restrained. For restrained pipes, we doesn't check sustained stresses. Uh, and operation stresses, 
we check only for restrained pipes and doesn't check for uh, unrestrained pipes. So if you activate the start smart check function, uh, you don't need to divide pipes to restraint or un unrestrained anymore. Star Prof will automatically check the sustained stresses for all type of pipes using the, uh, the code uh, allowable stresses. And it will check the, uh, the stresses uh, in operation state uh, according to the code for both type of pipes for restraint and for unrestrained. Uh, so this check doesn't uh, uh, exactly uh, follow the ASME code, but if this check is passed, then it means that uh, the original ASME code requirements will be satisfied too. And uh, here you can see the equations for risers, offshore pipeline and slurry pipes. Uh, now, Let's talk about the second soil model. It's submerged uh, buried pipeline uh, for that soil. Uh, what is the difference? The difference is that uh, soil springs are placed uh, exactly uh, at every five diameter. So we don't divide the pipe uh, pipeline into three zones. Uh, we place the springs every 5D. Uh, and also we, doesn't, uh, we don't remove the uh, weight of the pipeline. Uh, we apply the, the steel weight, insulation weight and fluid weight inside the pipeline and weight of ballasting. And also Starprof automatically apply buoyancy, buoyancy forces that uh, 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 up upward forces that push the uh, the pipeline uh, in upward direction. And we have a special ballasting weight objects in StarProf software. And also StarProf consider the liquefied soil properties automatically. If you said that, that the model is, uh, uh, is uh, a wet soil model, submerged pipe, StarProf will automatically consider the uh, special soil properties. Here is uh, how StarProf consider the uh, buoyancy force. Uh, it uh, automatically calculated depending on the water level and depending on the pipe orientation. Uh, and let me show you this uh, uh, in StarProf software. And also I will show you, this is ballistin weights. We have a special object in StarProf, ballistin weight, and you can place it along the pipeline. So let me show you how to do this. I create a simple example. This is the simple straight pipeline. Uh, with this is the soil level, and this is the water level. This is water water level. This is soil level. You can see the properties. If you check this checkbox, then this pipe considered as uh, buried. So this is buried pipe pipeline. Uh, here you can see the depth from the soil surface to the axis of, of this pipeline. And if you check that it is submerged pipe, uh, you will have to define the water level from the pipe axis. This is water level. It can be different on the one end of the pipe and on the second end. Uh, in this model, it is the same. So now I will run analysis. Uh, it is already analyzed, so I will just see the animation. And I start the animation. Let me increase the scale of this model, the formations. Okay. 
So, and let me show you the installation state. Here you can see that buoyancy forces push this pipeline in upward direction. To uh, the, the goal is to find the equilibrium. So the ballasting weights should be, uh, should have the same weight as the pipeline weight. In this case, it will float uh, in, in the water and it will not go upward or downward. So how to place the ballasting weights? Let me select this pipe and select insert multiple nodes. I will set, I will break it for, for example, 50 parts and add ballasting weight. Ballasting weight is, this is the element. You can place it in one node, but I need to place it in several nodes. I will just select one of the nodes and change the properties of all ballasting elements. Uh, I will set the length, for example, half of meter and the weight 100 kilograms. Okay, now refresh. Okay, so we have the ballasting weights along the pipeline. And now we can perform analysis. You see the soil springs. And let's see how does it work now. I run the animation and we can see that pipe now is going down. The, the best situation is when pipe doesn't move anywhere, not upward, non downward. But in this case, uh, the ballasting weight is too, too high. So we need to reduce the weight of the ballast. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, the soil model that is used in past StarProf software is uh, uh, very reliable and it was developed by Vnist company in Moscow and it's successfully used uh, more than 50, 35 years uh, in Russia, Belarus, Ukraine, Kazakhstan and uh, this soil model is uh, included inside five pipe stress analysis software that is used in uh, that countries. Uh, we have about 10 pipe stress analysis software and uh, the best star prof is most popular and uh, used in almost all companies. And this soil model is very reliable. And of course we, uh, uh, we have it in our uh, pipe stress software. So let me explain you. How does it work? Uh, each soil spring consists of several springs. It's uh, axial spring, vertical spring, and horizontal spring. The horizontal spring consists of two springs. Uh, first one is the insulation, insulation uh, flexibility. The second is the expansion cushion flexibility. This is expansion cushion that is uh, widely used in district heating networks uh, because the temperature is very high and, and we need to increase the flexibility of such pipelines uh, and um, protect the insulation. So we use the expression cushions and stop off can consider it. Oh, sorry. And the last spring is the soil resistance. Uh, soil resistance has nonlinear uh, nonlinear behavior. Uh, Starprof has the soil database, so you don't need to specify the uh, pro uh, properties of uh, the soil in each for each pipe. You just select uh, the number of the soil from database in each type properties in each pipe properties. Uh, you just need to select the existing soil in the database or you can add your own soil, click add button and uh, add your own soil model into, 
uh, soil database and stop prof will use it for analysis. The Axel Billionaire Springs uh, has behavior like this. You can see the diagram, how does it work? And this is the friction force. How does friction force calculate it? Uh, it takes into account the soil cohesion and soil internal friction angle. The depth depends on the pipe depth it's taken from pipe properties. Other properties are taken from database. And also if you select the submerged pipe, Star Prof will automatically change the weight of the soil uh, according to these equations. And it will use the liquefied soil weight and change the uh, friction force uh, along the pipeline. Uh, also, you can specify the friction, uh, the factor for friction angle. For example, some companies uh, cover the buried, buried uh, pipelines with the special polyethylene coat to reduce the friction along the pipeline. So you can specify here the special factor to reduce the friction. Also, StarProf can uh, consider the uh, natural air collapse phenomena. Uh, usually it is used then you model the pipeline that is built using horizontal directional drilling. In this case, you need to select the trenchless uh, soil line method, uh, the pi pipeline line method. Uh, if you use open trench method, when you open the trench, put the pipeline and then uh, uh, cover it back with the soil. Uh, in this case, you need to select the open trench. Uh, the, this model uh, allows you to analyze pipeline that is uh, depth is about, for example, 30 meters, 50 meters. So very high depth. If you will use the common soil model like this, uh, the depth will be very great and uh, the friction force will, will be uh, huge. In this case, uh, you need to select the trenchless model and StarProf will automatically calculate the parameters of a natural arc of collapse and reduce the depth uh, automatically for each pipe. The next spring is a lateral spring. It's a bilinear spring that uh, the equations you can find here. Uh, it uh, model the lateral resistance of the soil. It is nonlinear too, like the axial spring. And the third spring is vertical spring. It, it has three linear, uh, uh, three linear uh, spring. Uh, then pipe goes downward, we have bilinear equation. And when pipe goes upward, it, we have free linear uh, behavior. This is elastic zone. This is elastic zone two. And in this zone, the soil resistance is zero. The length of this zone is equal to pipe depth. I will set the L. For example, L. So L is the depth from the soil to the uh, from the pipe axis to the soil, the soil surface. This is L. So when pipe goes outside of the soil, the soil resistance became zero. For example, it is uh, it, it uh, allows to model the upheaval buckling of uh, pipeline. Also, you can specify the depth and the uh, water level, uh, different values it, at the start node at the end, uh, the end node of the pipe. Uh, so you can model the inclined pipes uh, or the ground surface can be inclined. So any, anything uh, that you need all, and uh, including the vertical pipes. Uh, Starprof will automatically calculate the depth for the each soil spring along the pipeline and calculate the friction forces individually for each spring. For vertical pipes, for horizontal inclined pipes, 
and also Staprov uh, convert all the soil properties from a horizontal pipe to the inclined pipe and the vertical pipe. Uh, because most of soil models uh, are designed only for horizontal pipes. Uh, but we need to analyze the pipe with any angle to the horizontal sur surface. Uh, Starprof automatically do this. You don't need something manually. You just draw your pipe pipeline or piping system as is, and then just click run analysis. Starprof will take care about everything. Uh, in Starprof, you can model the uh, the pi pipeline or piping system that contain above ground pipes in, in same model the horizontal pipes, uh, buried pipes, the inclined buried pipes, and vertical buried pipes. All will be analyzed together. So let me show you the example of the pig launcher model. This is the pig launcher model. Here you can see we have the above ground elements. This is above ground pipe. You, the checkbox pipe is buried is not checked. If we check this, we have the tab soil and you can specify the soil properties here. If you doesn't check, if you don't check this, uh, the pipe considered as above ground. So this is inclined pipe, this is uh, horizontal pipe, and we have some vertical pipes here. Let me find them. Here is the vertical pipe. Everything will be analyzed automatically. So we can run the analysis and see the results. We can see stresses, support loads, everything. In including the deformed shape of our pipeline. This is how does it work. This is above ground part. This is inclined pipe, uh, horizontal pipe. This is small pipe. You can see it has very huge bending moments. And we can see the stresses in our pipeline system. For example, if you see the high stress in some part of the model, for example, you, you want to reduce it, you can just add the node, add the expansion loop, for example, uh, one moment, the diameter is one, one meter. So I can specify, for example, 15 meters like this. Oh, I forget to add the, uh, the bands, so let me copy the band and put it here. So that's all, very quick. Just run analysis and see how does results changed after my model changing, after changing the model properties. Okay, analysis is done. You can see the soil supports along the pipeline. And we can see the deformed shape, the stresses. And we can see, of course, the stress report. In we have only one operational mode. So here we have hoop stress stress and hot state. Uh, here is the, this is the operational stress, primary and secondary, this is primary stresses, it sustains stresses, allow, allowable value. And if you put your mouse uh, over any cell, you will see all the equations. How does the stress was calculated? So uh, some users doesn't believe that software can accurately calculate stresses so they can just see here the equations and check it manually. A lot of people already did it and they didn't find any problems. 
Of course, you can find the restraint loads, nozzle equipment loads, displacements, expansion joint deformations, uh, the springs, buckling check. For example, we can check the buckling on this model. You can see the uh, this is buckling check according to the ASME B31 H code. This is buckling check. So let's return to our slideshow. Uh, how to define the subsidence? Uh, what what is subsidence? For example, if you uh, it can happen after the mining under the pipeline. So. Uh, pipeline goes down. This is the pipe and subsidence. The soil goes down. The frost healing, then we have uh, liquefied soil. And uh, at winter time, the water uh, turned to ice and uh, the healing forces push the pipeline in upward direction. The landslide can happen and it can move uh, your pipeline in horizontal direction or in any other direction. And also if you cross the seismic fault zones and you need to check how will your pipeline behavior, uh, if the, uh, the fault will happen, you can analyze it using StarProf software. For this, we have the special soil movement option uh, you need to specify the considered soil movements and you need to specify the soil movement uh, at the beginning of the pipe, for example, here and at the end of the pipe. For example, in this, uh, in this drawing, you can specify the soil movements uh, like this. You can draw this diagram of soil movements and StarProf will automatically uh, calculate the pipe pipeline behavior. So StarProf will move the soil springs uh, in the direction that you have specified here uh, automatically. And after that, the pipeline will try to follow the spring di displacements. And you will see the stresses and the strain and uh, in the pipeline. Also, we have a special check ability to check the strains in the pipeline according to the selected code. So you can still check the stresses according to the code like ASME B314 or B31H. But if you had the huge, if, if you had uh, the huge subsidence or a huge landslide, the stresses will be very high. It, it will be very hard to uh, satisfy the code requirements, but in real life, such pipelines uh, didn't fail. Uh, so you can switch to strain check according to SC code. You can see uh, this requirement here and StarProf will automatically uh, check the strains in your pipeline. So let me show you the example. I will close this model and open another example that I prepared for this webinar. This is the gas pipeline. This is the real gas pipeline, but I just added the subsidence, frost heaven, and landslide in some parts of this pipeline. I added the special, uh, the special uh, operational mode, uh, landslide subsidence, and add the special effect. So le let me show you the deformed shape. It is the best way to demonstrate how does it work. Now you can see here, I define it, uh, this is very long, very, very long gas pipeline. It has the, this is the, uh, the diameter of this pipeline. And you can see here that I specified the huge subsidence. It's about uh, one meter in downward direction, the huge subsidence. And another point is frost heaving, for example. 
So uh, pipeline just follow the diagram that I draw uh, for the frost heaven. And this is, where is landslide here? We have the landslide is uh, horizontal displacements of the soil springs. If I, I can show you in greater zoom, you can see this is the soil springs here. Starprof automatically condensed the soil spring placement in the zones where the subsidence are specified. Here is the sub soil subsidence. You can see the diagram of soil subsidence here. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, oh, I forget to show you the stra stress strain check. We can open the stress table and select the landslide subsidence. Uh, for landslide operational mode, I select ASCE code for this load case. This is not, not actually load case, this is operation mode that uh, has a lot of load cases inside it. So here we, I select the SC code and, and we can see the strains. The str it is not stress, it's strain in the pipeline according to ASCE code. Okay, let's continue. Uh, another point is the ring bending stress calculation in past Pro software. Uh, we use the special uh, finite element model to calculate the ring bending stresses in the pipe cross section. We create finite element model and apply the forces from the soil that is above the pipeline. And it is distributed uh, around the perimeter of this, uh, uh, of this pipeline cross section. Uh, the finite element soil model is nonlinear. Uh, it uh, the the soil is modeled using the special soil springs around the cross section. Uh, the soil springs are nonlinear. It switch off if uh, the tension is detected, so it can work only for compression. I will show you. This is iteration animation of the cross section. Uh, here you can see, let me show again. Here you can see that some springs in this zone, these springs are switched off. They not working, but that springs in all other zone are working. This is the bending moment diagram in the pipe cross section and also star prof consider the internal pressure in this uh, pipeline and if it's huge diameter to consider the uh, pressure that changes along the depth of the pipeline uh, so uh, the the finite element model is nonlinear uh, and uh, we take into account the stiffening effect of the pressure so if you have very high pressure the uh, uh, the ovalization of this uh, cross section will be uh, not so huge, so uh, it will uh, tend to how to say it will tend uh, to be uh, the uh, uh, to have the circle cross section instead of elliptical. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to explain it. So the stiffening effect is taken into account because uh, Starprof used a geometrically nonlinear model for uh, cross section of the pipe. And also if you specify the insulation, Starprof will add the insulation layer around the pipe cross section. Uh, if you specify the truck loads on the surface, Star Prof will consider it and you can analyze the buckling of the pipe cross section under the truck forces. 
and you can check the stresses in insulation. Uh, mainly, we check stresses in polyurethane insulation for uh, gas and oil pipelines and for district heating networks. Because this is a requirement by the technology of installation of uh, polyurethane insulation, the pipe and insulation must be glued very hardly. Uh, so adhesion is very important uh, because uh, insulation transfer the uh, the huge friction forces uh, that is acting along the pipeline from the soil to the steel pipe inside the insulation. So the stresses in insulation must be, must be checked. Another point is the seismic wave analysis. Uh, Starprof can perform the seismic wave propagation analysis for buried, uh, buried uh, underground pipelines according to the codes that you can see here. Uh, for, uh, to do this, you need just select the appropriate code. And after you run analysis, Starprof will provide you the stress report uh, from the a seismic wave propagation effect. What is seismic wave propagation? For example, we have very long pipeline and when seismic wave pass along this pipeline, the points, uh, the soil points uh, move uh, in axial direction in a positive or negative direction. And here is the waves like the waves on the water. Uh, in some points, the pipe is compressed in, and in other points, the pipe is, uh, uh, is under tension. Also, the friction forces along the pipeline uh, reduce the effect of uh, the seismic waves. So this is the equations that is used for uh, calculation of the stresses in the pipeline during the passing of the uh, waves, seismic waves. Uh, the most dangerous thing is when you have a pipe turn or lateral branch of the pipe because it's working like anchor and it doesn't allow the pipe to slide uh, rel relative to the soil. In this case, the stress is usually very huge at that point. So you need somehow to protect the branches of the pipeline. Uh, in, for district heating networks, they usually place the special, special underground chambers or we add the expansion cushions or, or use uh, some other special design, special design to reduce the seismic forces. Uh, this is the method that is used for calculation of the strains. We use the approximate method. Uh, the equivalent uh, elongation of the pipe. It is like the ter thermal expansion, but the expansion caused by seismic wave. Uh, we take into account the uh, P wave, it's a longitudinal wave, and we take into account the S wave, uh, it's a shear wave. And after the analysis, StarProf will check the strains in the pipeline uh, according to the selected code. The strains in uh, ASCE code are different from landslide stresses, allowable stresses, for example. So StarProf will take it into account automatically. Uh, let me show you. I defined, already defined the seismic wave. I just push this checkbox and select the code and specify the properties. And if I will open the properties of any pipe, in additional properties, you, uh, oh, here, uh, for seismic properties, you will see the peak ground velocity, peak ground acceleration, P wave and S wave propagation velocity. You can enter it here. If you push the help button, you will see all the information where you can get this value. For example, you can open the help and see uh, the information about each field here. 
And after analysis, you can open the pipe stress table, select the soil seismic wave propagation and see the strains in the pipeline and the allowable strains. The strains should be lower than allowable. This is a requirement of the code. Okay. Also, star prof checks the buckling of the pipe cross section. We have a special buckling report. Uh, at this time, star prof can check buckling according to the SME B418. Uh, European code for district heating and ghost code. In the future, we'll add more codes and more buckling check abilities. Also, Star Prof can calculate the upheaval buckling of the pipeline in start elements. Star Prof calculate the uh, lateral buckling of the above ground pipelines, like you see on the pictures. Uh, in start elements. And, and now the third part, uh, I will talk about uh, the star prof usability. Uh, the user interface is very user friendly. You, you work with objects. So the bands, T's, uh, pipes, it's the objects. It has the properties. You can delete objects, add objects. It is very easy to use. For example, in pipe object, we have several coordinate systems. You can use traditional projections, uh, X, Y, Z projections, or you can use the more convenient for pipelines coordinate system. It's cylindrical coordinate systems uh, uh, where you can specify the angles in the horizontal plane that you take from this drawing and you have the projections to the vertical axis that you take from this drawing. So usually the pipeline engineers use this coordinate system. And this coordinate system is usually uh, uh, used uh, by uh, piping engineers uh, that design the compressor stations, uh, pump stations, uh, uh, and some other equipment and process and power piping, of course. Uh, this is the object types. Uh, you can get more information from our previous webinar recording. Uh, I will not spend a lot of time. So just to say we have bent objects, several type of bent objects, the database, T object, several T objects, uh, and database reducers, uh, reducers, concentric, eccentric, and database valve object. We have special insulation joint object uh, that allows you to check the stresses in the insulation, electrical insulation kit. Uh, we have the tank object that allows you to model the nozzle of the tank, including the settlement of the tank, the bulging effect, the thermal expansion effect, and check the allowable loads according to the diagram in API 650 code, or you can use other codes and you can specify the allowable loads manually uh, or by finite element method, we have several options. And we have a pump, several pump objects, uh, compressor objects. We have uh, bellows, uh, uh, expansion joint, different types of expansion joints and database. After the analysis, Star Prof automatically checked the uh, deformations of the joints. We have special elements that is uh, frequently used in district heating is uh, torsion expansion joint friction. Uh, there you can specify the friction moment. And uh, we have the uh, slip joint uh, that is uh, widely used to, you, are, you can specify the friction force. And of course we have database of such expansion joints. We have flanges and uh, leak check. Uh, uh, Star Prof can check the leakage and uh, offer you the leakage check report. We have uh, all needed type of supports. 
you can specify displacement or movement movements of the supports you can specify the cold spring uh, in any node of the pipe we have special object for cold spring also we have special procedure and start elements to calculate the wall thickness of the pipe uh, using any of the codes that is included in start prof uh, and also we have a band the reducer and other fittings uh, 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 wall thickness calculation uh, in, for some codes not not uh, for all codes at this moment but we will extend it uh, we have the uh, pipe span calculation, the stability calculation, and many other interesting features like U-shaped loop calculation and others, because some engineers uh, like to use the simple calculations. Also, we have uh, the special operation mode editor. It's a higher level, higher level uh, load case editor because it creates load cases automatically depending on the operation modes that you specify here. We have no limit on temperatures, pressures, fluid weights and um, uh, for example you can have different insulation weight in different, uh, uh, in different uh, operational modes. You can have different fluid weight uh, and any other properties. We have a lot of reports that can be copied to Excel, Microsoft Word. We have free viewer of our uh, the, the models that is created that are created in Fast Star Pro. Uh, this is the reports that you can request after analysis. All reports are interactive, so you can change the global coordinate system to local coordinate system. You can filter it, for example, remove all loads to the resting supports because you don't need them or you can do any other things. The reports are very flexible and uh, interactive. Here are the reports. And we have verification manual uh, where we compared the analysis results with some other software and with our own manual calculations. Uh, each version of Starprof is verified uh, uh, on more than 300 examples uh, with the previous version of the software and it'll show if we have any bugs and we fix it uh, before the official release. Uh, every version is uh, manually checked by experienced pipe stress engineers who have a test group, uh, the testers of our software that check the results, user interface, everything before the official release. Uh, each release pass through one, two, and maybe three uh, pipe stress trainings that we regularly perform. For, uh, we perform the trainings every two months. Uh, the groups is about 10 to 20 students. And uh, also after official release, if, we, if the software has some bugs, Occasionally, so our 2000 companies users usually report us immediately and we fix it and uh, provide the fix on our website. So uh, uh, the software is very reliable with a very long history. Uh, Marina? Yes, thank you, Alex. Uh, thank you for the very valuable information that you have provided during the presentation. And um, I would like to tell you that uh, now we, we will have a Q&A session. And if you have your questions, please send them to Q&A box. And before we uh, start the session, um, I would like to say that we have a lot of resources about Pass Suite and um, uh, about Pass Stat Prof. So here you can see the list of um, our web resources, including our website, the link to our YouTube channel, uh, links to our groups in social media. And here you also can see the link to an industry web resource uh, where you can find more than 50 articles dedicated to past that prof. 
So you can see our website, our email uh, addresses, and if you have any more questions, please send, uh, send your questions to our mailbox. We will answer them. And thank you again and have a good day.